Okay guys, so I'm going to show you the perfect tank controls that I've come up with for Tomb Raider Remaster, and I'm also going to show you guys some um, techniques. This will be more useful for people that are new to Tomb Raider. So under controls, if we go to tank controls, these are the controls that I recommend to use because the modern controls are very awkward for platforming. With these tank controls that I've come up with, I think you guys will really enjoy this. We have the walk to action and the action indicators I turned off. That's going to be the exclamation marks to tell you that, you, hey, you can pull a switch or hey, you can pick up this item. I turned that off because I'm already familiar with all this stuff and I would rather not see the exclamation mark. So all this is obviously off and you can turn your sensitivity at the very bottom. Okay, done. Change controls. These are the controls. W, S, A, D, obviously, for the run back, left, right. These are more modern, right? So basically I've turned modern controls into tank controls. Shift is walk. Jump is space. Action is mouse left click. Weapon is R. Look is mouse right click. Roll is control. Z is my flare. Duck is C. Dash is F. Secondary, I don't have anything right now. We can't use duck, dash, or secondary for Tomb Raider 1 and 2 anyways. Now let me show you guys. So right click the look. W, A, S, D to look around. Okay, R is to take out your weapon. That's really easy key to press. In fact, I might actually make it E instead. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it E. Okay, I'm changing weapon to E. That's going to be slightly easier to press that button. It's right beside the W button. Remember, my action key is my left click, right? So let me show you guys some moves here. So we have the roll. But more importantly, when you gain momentum with your run, you can jump and you can do a 180 just like that. This is very important because it's going to allow you to do jump grabs. Like let's say if there's a cliff right in behind me that I can't quite reach unless I jump off a platform. What I can do is run up here, jump off this, and grab onto the cliff. There's one little trick. Another thing we can do is I keep pressing R to take on my weapon because I just changed the E. You know, my muscle memory, right? It's all fucked up right now. I'll get the hang of it. E is easier. I just got to get my muscle memory. My brain needs to be like, hey, it's E now, not R, basically. All right. So we have a tiger coming up. Let's go take care of this guy. Should be really easy with these controls that I came up with. Now, shift is the walk, so you can do side steps by holding the walk key and walk like this. Now, when you get to the edge, you want to do a little backpedal like that or a little back jump. And then from this point on, all you have to do is hold W space and action key at the same time, and you'll just automatically grab onto that ledge. When you get to this point, see, you can stop like this, use the mouse R to look. You don't have to press any other key. You can hold on to your mouse at all times with tank controls with, with this setup. The old way to play with tank controls was to have your left hand on like the WASD key sides. And you would have to use your right hand to move with the arrow keys. But with this modern tweak to the old setup that I've that I've customized here, it makes it so you can kind of get like a modern feel to the game, but still have the tank control feeling at the same time. You know what I mean? It makes playing this game super, super easy. And another thing we can do is dive off. I'm just going to do a little dive. So uh -huh. you can dive to the very bottom. I'm going to show you how to dive. Basically what you do is... Now if that was water, Obviously, I'd be diving right into water, but I did this just to demonstrate what it's like to dive. And you can dive without having to dive off cliffs like, like I did. You can even dive just normally. So here's just a normal dive with... Oh, that helicopter fucked it up a little bit. There's a normal dive, just like that. So once you get used to these controls, it's gonna and you build up muscle memory for it, you're gonna realize just how 
really easy it is to play this game with these controls. And if you press the F1 key, you can actually go right back into classic mode as well. Which I really like. The only thing is that classic mode plays in a very restrictive FPS. So I think it's playing on like 30 FPS because it feels very choppy. Like I don't think it's designed to uh, see frames beyond 30 FPS. Because if I switch to F1, look how much, look how smooth this is. They've obviously designed the modern version to play beyond 30 FPS. This has, I think they've actually un uncapped it and I'm playing at maximum 144 hertz, which is my monitor hertz, because it feels very smooth. Very, very, very smooth. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and hopefully you enjoyed the video if you're a Tomb Raider fan.